In this video we're going to solve by dividing both sides by the same number. So please write down this first example. 5a equals 45. By the way, we'll do these examples in this video. Okay. So write down 5a equals 45. Okay. So that just means 5 apples cost 45 cents. Okay. Or um, and when you write a number beside a letter it means multiply it okay uh, let me give you an example five this would be if you write 53 it means the number 53 right but if you write five with a parenthesis times three that means five times three if you write five times three with a product dot that also means that you could also use this symbol five times three although we don't like to use the X in algebra because we get confused with the letter X so we don't like to use the multiplication uh, x symbol. Now, when you've got letters and you want to say five apples, you could do this. You could go five times an apple, or you could go five times an apple. But it's more common just to go um, five a five apples. Okay, and um, we don't actually need a multiplication symbol uh, between the number and the letter. Similarly, with three bananas here, three b, you could do three times b or three times b. These are correct ways of doing it, but it's more common just to go three b, three bananas. Uh, so you don't say I have three banana. There are three. You don't say there are three times a banana on the table. You say there's just three bananas on the table. So three bananas means three times a banana. So just to remember that five a actually means five times an apple. Now to undo times, the inverse operation is divide. You see, if I divide five apples by five, go ahead and divide five apples by five. If you divide five apples among five children, each child gets one apple. Okay? So five apples divided by five is one apple or A. And that's what we want to get. We want to get A all by itself. If I divide the left hand side by five, I must divide the right hand side also by five. 45 divided by 5 is 9. So we have 1a equals 9 or a equals 9, right? So write this one down. 3b equals 24. 3 bananas cost 24 cents. How much does 1 banana cost? Well, I know the answer is 8, but we're doing this to practice dividing both sides and try to understand what it means to divide both sides so that when we come to negatives and zeros and things like that, it makes sense. More sense, anyway. So we'll do some easy ones to begin with, and then we'll look at the negatives and the zeros next. But um, the trick is to write out the steps on the easy ones. So 3b equals 24. I hope you wrote that down. Now we're going to get b by itself. b is being multiplied by 3. To undo multiplying by 3, we need to divide by 3. Because if you take 3 bananas, and you split that equally among 3 children, when you divide that by 3, you get 1 banana, 1b, one or just b, right? And if you divide the left hand side by 3, you must also divide the right hand side by 3. 24 divided by 3 is 8. So the answer here is b equals 8. Now write this one down, do it all yourself, write out the steps carefully. 2m equals 10. Two markers cost $10. How much does one marker cost? So if you divide this side by 2, and divide this side by 2, you'll get the answer, right? So 2m means 2 times m. To undo times, you divide. Divide by 2. 2 markers divided by 2 gives you 1 marker, or just m, right? And 10 divided by 2 is simply 5. So the answer is 1 marker costs $5, m equals 5. But I, I know you know the answer. We were just wanting to practice dividing both sides by the same number. So I hope you got that written out. That's the important thing, because now we're going to look at negatives and um, doing easy examples helps you get ready for the, the, the more confusing ones. So write this one down. Negative 4x equals 8. Now this time uh, we have instead of a, b, m we have x and it's negative 4x. That means negative 4 times x, <laughs> doesn't it? Negative 4x means negative 4 times x. To undo multiplying by a negative 4, you actually need to divide by a negative 4. Okay, That will get you the x on its own. The reason you divide by a negative 4 is because <coughs> 
Negative over negative makes positive, right? 4 over 4 makes 1, doesn't it? 4 over 4 is 1. So we have positive 1x, or, or x basically. Positive 1x is x, same thing, right? So if you divide the left by negative 4, you must divide the right also by a negative 4. Okay. Now 8 over negative 4 is what? That's a positive over a negative. Positive over negative gives negative. And 8 over 4 gives 2. So x equals negative 2. Now how about negative 15x equals 5? This is negative 15 times x. To undo multiplying by negative 15, you must divide by negative 15. If you divide the left by negative 15, okay, you must divide the right by negative 15 as well, right? Now the reason we divide by negative 15 is because if you look over here, we want to get x by itself. Look over here. Negative over negative gives positive, okay? 15 over 15 gives 1. Okay? And we still have x on the top. So that's basically 1 times x over 1, if you want to think of it that way. Or just x. Right? So it's positive 1 times x. Right? Or just x. Now here we have 5 over negative 15. That's a positive over a negative. What will the sign be? The sign will be negative. And 5 over 15, can we put that in lowest terms? 5 into 5 goes once. 5 into 15 goes three times. So x equals negative one third. Okay? Now, negative 28x equals negative 7. This is negative 28 times x. So we got to get x on its own. x has been multiplied by a negative 28. What would you do to both sides to get the answer? Can you do this one by yourself? Try to do this one by yourself. x is being multiplied by a negative 28. To get x by itself I need to divide by a negative 28. If I divide, if I whatever I do to this side, I must do to this side. So I must divide this guy also by a negative 28. Okay. Now, if you look at the left-hand side, it's negative over negative is positive, isn't it? What's 28 over 28? One, and we still have x. So it's positive one times x, which is just x. Okay. On the right hand side we have a negative over a negative. What should the sign be? What's negative over negative? Negative over negative is positive. And can we put this guy in lowest terms? 7 into 7 goes once, 7 into 28 goes how many times? four times. So we have positive one quarter or just one quarter. X equals one quarter, right? Now, write this one down, do it all by yourself. Negative 36Y equals negative 18. Press pause and do that one by yourself. Okay, it's negative 36 times Y. To undo multiply, so it's y is being multiplied by negative 36, right? So I hope you've tried it yourself. Please, please press pause and do this one all by yourself, and then I'll do it with you. Okay, I hope you tried it yourself. Y is being multiplied by negative 36. To get y by itself, I need to divide by negative 36. And if I divide the left hand side by negative 36, I must also divide the right hand side by negative 36. Okay. On the left hand side we have a negative over negative which makes positive and 36 over 36 makes 1 and we, we're still left with y so it's positive 1 times y or just 1y or just y right so y equals and on the right hand side we have a negative over negative which gives 
positive. So the sign on the right is positive. And can you um, put this guy in lowest terms? 18 goes into 36 twice. I'll, I'm going to do it. Do a couple of steps. I'm going to go um, just for fun. I'm just going to go 9 into 18 goes twice. 9 into 36 goes four times. That gives me 2 over 4. But you've got to keep simplifying until you're finally done. So, for example, on this one, I need to keep going. See, 2 into 2 goes once. 2 into 4 goes twice. I actually have one half. So whatever you get, it should eventually end up to be positive one half. So your answer should be y equals a half. Okay. Now write this one down and see if you can solve it. 5p equals 0. And then we're going to do negative 23x equals 0, just for fun. But 5p equals 0. Write that down and see if you can solve it. What do you come up with? So what it's saying is 5 pens cost 0 dollars. How much does 1 pen cost? Right? It's 5 times p. 5 times a number gives 0. Right? What's the number? Well, 5 times p equals 0. To get p by itself, I need to divide by 5 on both sides. Right? 5p over 5. 5 pens divided by 5, 1 pen, or P, right? What's 0 divided by 5? 0 divided by 5 is 0. So we have P equals 0, right? Now this one, negative 23x equals 0. How would you solve this? x is being multiplied by negative 23. Okay? x is being multiplied by negative 23. To get x on its own, we need to divide by negative 23. If I divide this side by negative 23, must divide this side also by negative 23, right? So on the left hand side, what do you get? It's a negative over negative, positive. 23 over 23, 1, x or just x. So on the left I get x, on the right I have 0 over negative 23. What does that give you? 0 divided by negative 23. Well you could think well it's a negative number but really it's 0 over 23 is just 0 and you know negative 0 is just 0 isn't it? So the answer here is x equals 0. Now one thing we need to talk about is how to check these answers. Okay. <coughs> So, like for for example, just the very last, the, the most recent one we did, to check, we just write negative 23 and plug the answer in and see if it works. So for this equation, we got our answer was 0 for x, so plug 0 in for x, and then it, the, the equation should work. What's negative 23 times 0? Well, it is 0, right? So we have 0, the same thing on both sides, so that equation worked, right? Um, so this is how we check equations. Uh, I could check uh, any any of them I want. I'm just gonna check. Um, let's check this one for fun. Okay. This equation was negative four x equals eight. So that's negative four times x equals eight. What solution did we get? We solved that to get x is negative two. So I'm gonna plug the negative two in for x. Now, are both sides the same? Negative 4 times negative 2, what's that? That's a positive 8 equals 8. Okay. Good idea to check at least some of your answers on your homework because I know you can check them in the back of the book and I know the quizzes will check them as well, but when you're taking a test, the only one that can check your answers is yourself. Okay. So you always want to check your answers when you're taking a test for sure. So let's just check uh, this one for fun. We had negative 28x equals negative 7, right? Okay, so that's negative 28 times x equals negative 7. What did we get for the answer here? x equals 1 quarter. Okay, let's plug that in and see if that works. 
I'll plug one quarter in for x. Okay. And now are both sides the same or not? So negative 28 can be written negative 28 over 1. Okay. And this is a negative times a positive. We're multiplying fractions. So we multiply the tops. 28 times 1 is 28 over 1 times 4 is 4. And there's a negative sign there. So it's, it's negative 28 over 4. What does that give you? That's a negative over positive, which is negative, And 28 over 4 is indeed negative 7. So we do indeed have negative 7 on both sides. So this answer checks out. Okay. So by all means, check at least some of your homework questions just to make sure you're doing everything right.